Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the segment on Microsoft Loves Windows Community Toolkit. I am your host today, Michael Hawker, also known as the XAML Llama. And with me today, I've got Miguel Ramos talking about XAML Islands. And uh, we've got uh, Soham Chatterjee uh, from the Lottie team to uh, talk about their contributions to the toolkit. So um, do you want to talk a little bit more about your technologies and what you do at Microsoft? Sure. I'm Miguel Ramos. I'm a program manager in the Windows Developer Experience team, working in the XAML team. So we are releasing the first version of XAML Islands, something that we announced the last build. Um, this build, we announced the first release, finally. Uh, Congratulations. Our, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Our technology uh, allows that WPF, Win32 Win developer can use UWP controls inside of this app. So it's really awesome. Yeah, that's great. Um, and yeah, so? and, uh, I'm, I, I'm a uh, program manager on the Windows UI composition team. So I actually don't work on the Lottie team. There is no such thing. Sorry. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and so uh, I work on the composition team, which is a lower level API for rendering an animation. Upon, uh, XAML, for example, the XAML APIs are built upon the composition APIs. So yeah, I work on uh, 2D and 3D rendering primitives. And so one of the things I worked on was uh, vector graphics. And we quickly realized uh, through feedback from our community that um, to make these things useful to people, uh, to our customers, we needed to expose them in ways that, that fit in with their workflows. And so Lottie is this incredible open source effort across the industry uh, from folks at Airbnb, from folks uh, in After Effects, and, and designers across the industry, motion designers, who want to bring a really nice uh, sort of vector-based motion animation to applications. Uh, using uh, real-time sort of rendering and animation libraries. And so we decided to build this open source component and uh, bring these ideas to the Windows platform uh, using the Composition APIs. So essentially, it was a way to make the Composition APIs accessible to folks and uh, reap the benefits of uh, the performance of the Composition APIs, but also the significant uh, savings in terms of the sheer effort required compared to historical solutions, like actually manually having to code up these uh, uh, extremely complex looking, but seemingly delightful animations. Right, right. I think that's, uh, as, as the lead for the community toolkit here at Microsoft, it's really exciting to see all these different pieces come together and really make it easier for developers to just focus on building great apps and not worry about all that complex stuff that underneath that has to happen to make it, make it work. Um, so how did you kind of first hear about the toolkit and, and what shows you, uh, you know, what led you to the toolkit to contribute in the open source um, compared to other you know, options at Microsoft? <laughs> for, for us, it was simple. So um, we were working in the, with the community toolkit for years because we are the UWP platform and the controls. So we have a great collaboration from the beginning, the conception of the Windows Community Toolkit. So we really know the value about that. Um, in, in this specific case of our Samuel Islands, when we create this low-level API that ship with operating system, something called Windows Desktop XAML Source, we thought that why not to create something simple for .NET developer, create some kind of wrappers, um, demonstrate to the developer that can consume this island easily. So we create this first approach in the Windows Community Toolkit. We get a lot of good feedback about, yeah, this is working really well. So can you continue evolving that? Um, we are shipping every two, three weeks, and you released with a lot of pull requests, um, just making the thing grow up thanks to the community. Yeah, that's great. And yeah, and, and for me, uh, I work on the composition team, and we've always had sort of a, a, a active community of folks who use our stuff, but a, a sort of community of early adopters. And the composition APIs, um, from their inception, were all about empowering innovation and going beyond what XAML allows. And so in many of these cases, it wasn't enough to sort of do one-off innovations, but to actually uh, sort of systematize these things before they make their way into the platform. And, and so we'd always work with members of the community to sort of formalize and, uh, and, and make easy a lot of the composition concepts and bring them to, to the open source community. And so, of course, we knew about the toolkit because that's where a lot of uh, synergy and momentum was. Right, that's great. I mean, we, yeah. we, we love our community here at Microsoft, and, and you can see Microsoft embracing the open source. And uh, I think you've, you've all said kind of what, what brought you there and what's exciting you. Um, kind of what's the best feedback you've gotten from the community itself that's you know, kind of really kind of let you know that you're on the right track and you've, you're driving forward with what you're doing? It, for us, mainly is because we have people who are early adopters who try the things 
crediting always the first with the first thing that we are doing. <laughs> so this is helping to us just to get feedback, get bugs very quickly, fix the bugs, and uh, also get feedback about hey, maybe this API is not working really well, or maybe we need more functionality. Try to evaluate if this is something that uh, is working for all the main scenarios, and then apply that immediately because it's open source, it's there. So actually, we are chipping out of the van. We are no longer attached to the platform. So I mean, we have more agile to do all the things, innovate a little more. Right. Right. And, and the reason why we picked the toolkit for Lottie to live in was because we wanted to be where um, our customers were. And, and uh, our, our thinking was that uh, you know, if you've ever used Lottie or, or played around with After Effects, the, the surface of things you can do with After Effects is immense. And so we really wanted to uh, figure out what actually matters to our customers. And so uh, our, you know, using GitHub to figure out uh, what people care about, the features, and how we should prioritize development in the future uh, is, of course, the thing that we are looking forward to the most. It's a very new project, and we've already had a lot of feature requests. And, and one of the most useful things that we've discovered is uh, beyond the core functionality of Lottie Windows itself, it's also about how it integrates with other things like uh, you know, Xamarin bindings or, or, or a Lottie React or something like that. And so we're really looking at people uh, helping us identify the gaps in, in the APIs that we have out and how we actually evolve that going forward. So some of the best feedback we've received is a, a whole bunch of feature requests, and it's a lot of work for us. <laughs> uh, I guess that's, that's one thing that there's never a shortage of is, is people saying what, what, what they want and, and what, what we can do to improve our tools. But I think that's the exciting thing. It used to be in the past where you would be shipping software every few years, and people would report bugs. And, and I heard others here mentioning it before. like. You never, you had to wait and hope that it got fixed, and then you'd find out it didn't, and you'd be disappointed. And now we have this direct connection to our developers, and so I think that's that's a great mantra for for Microsoft's open source. Um, uh, as you've been working with the communities, and uh, um, Sohem, you mentioned too that you know there's these other communities out there because you've been building on top of these Lottie animations. How does how has those engagements worked with like these other communities? Like have, have What's surprised you about um, the open source world and these other communities that have already been established that you're now kind of entering this space with and, and the collaboration? Yeah, uh, uh, well, so working on the Windows platform, which uh, uh, moving into the open source was a completely different world, a very, a very different sort of refreshing change. Uh, collaborating with folks is actually very easy, surprisingly so for me with a uh, little prior experience. Uh, mostly, um, yeah, GitHub's been great uh, as, a, as a means of sharing code and ideas. Uh, the, 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 uh, the ability to uh, just talk to people has been very easy. And of course, the folks at Airbnb uh, for the Android and the iOS repos, and uh, uh, Hernan Torisi, the amazing creator of Body Movement. All of these people are really easy to work with. Uh, uh, I met a lot of them in person in San Francisco, here in Seattle. And uh, yeah, just email, good old email, reach out to people. And everyone's been very sweet to uh, just help us. And uh, in terms of even documentation, uh, we did a lot of stuff using the community toolkit docs. And we also committed to the Airbnb docs. And all of this was really easy. So doing it in the open source has been an extremely smooth process in terms of uh, code reviews and stuff like that. Right, that's great. Yeah. Miguel? Sure. Yeah, the, the thing that really surprised me is about you can connect to the customer digitally, and you create some kind of connection, empathy with, with them. So it means that it's not as cool as just chipping something and people or unknown people trying things. When you are in the open source and you see the names of the people who are using your feature, these people really uh, create pull requests with, with the, the picture, with the photo. With, with you create this kind of relationship and also the communication goes so fluent, so smooth that you really, you really have the, the mindset that Something is doing. That something that we are doing is, is right. It's, right. it's good. So this is really the thing that surprised us. Besides the all the agility of doing this more quickly, but I have to like, if I have to like, highlight something. This is the thing that I will do. Yeah. Great. Um, I think there's been a lot of talk at Build this year about you know how we have all these different communities. Uh, obviously, with the toolkit, we do a lot of native experiences for UWP, WPF, WinForms, Win32 developers. There's obviously a lot of web developers out there, and uh, there's this notion too, like no matter what technologies you're using and how you're combining them, you know, here at Microsoft, we're trying to bring all these developers together just to make great apps on Windows. Right? It doesn't matter what technologies you're using, we want to be there for you. Um, and so we actually got a question online here where. They're talking about the future of kind of uh, 
running code in the browser, and, and obviously WebAssembly is pretty hot right now, and there's the Uno group, and so this question is, you know, how does the toolkit fit into the browser work in the future and the Uno platform? And um, they might have noticed our, our Uno platform uh, llama behind me. Uh, but uh, anyway, I think it's an exciting possibility thinking of the future of how all these different worlds of code collide. And so I'm just kind of curious on your guys' thoughts on on what do you see that, that future of bringing more of the web and mixing the native and how that all fits together? Yeah, so uh, I, can, I can answer that because I have a good one. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 well, Michael and I literally ran into the Uno folks this, this afternoon at Build, and they showed me something incredible. Uh, we put out a bunch of applications on the Windows Store for uh, Lottie, like sample applications that help you ramp up. And the folks had already implemented our control, uh, our C Sharp control, uh, in the Uno platform, and it was running in the browsers. It was kind of surreal seeing uh, <laughs> our uh, the UWP code running in a browser. That was really cool. And, and they, they leverage all the amazing work that's happening uh, on other platforms from the folks uh, in uh, writing Lottie versions for Android, iOS, and the web. So yeah, I think that's incredible. Yeah, and they use Xamarin a lot for that, too. And so like, there's just, it's amazing how we have all these different technologies on our umbrella, and we're, we're leveraging you know, our own knowledge within the company, but all these other communities out there as well. And, and uh, it's just it's a great time to be. Sure. Miguel, and thinking, about, thinking about that, we also announced that uh, we are going to have support for React Native for UWP application with highly performance. Right. So this is a way that the way what we think that we should open our platform to everyone, even reaching out developer that you never in the past right. <laughs> thought you're going to be part of the Windows community like web developers, right? Right. So, this is the kind of new mentality that we have in, the, in, in Windows and we have in Microsoft as well. It's about let's create th a tool that everyone, everyone can, can use. Right. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Yeah, and if you didn't see the React Native stuff Miguel was mentioning, that was uh, Kevin Gallo during Rajesh's keynote was giving that demo. It's, it's pretty cool, um, so definitely worth checking out if you're looking at all the content that's, that's coming to build. But, um, but great. So uh, we have a few minutes left. I wanted to kind of ask you, you two both, kind of what's next for where are you taking you know, your directions on your teams? What's, what's coming next in the open source? I know there's been a couple announcements, but, but what can you share with our community back at home with what's, with what's on the horizon, what they should be looking out for this year? Sure. So for, for, the, for, our, for our perspective, the UWP perspective, so we are shipping the the next release of Windows UI, something called Windows UI 3.0. The thing that we are doing is just lifting all the SAML platform, um, making, putting all together in a new package, and publishing this open source. So everyone can participate in this open source initiative. This is one of the things that we are doing. This is going to enable that, for example, some AI lands can be consumed across all the different versions of, of the Windows operating system. Not all, but a, a, a great. Uh, a a broader, broader set of them now. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So in parallel to that, we are going to continue working with the Windows Community Toolkit, improving all this rapid control and engaging with the customers in all this initiative. So we, we, we believe that we have a good future, right. <laughs> a good plan. And actually, people uh, say thank you, thank you very time today. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. I mean, having these contributions in the toolkit is what makes it useful to our developers and keeps us going. And so we just, you know, we want to continue working with everyone uh, internally and externally at, at the company and, and all of our communities and our MVPs. It's, it's really useful to have people giving input and seeing what they need and, and how we can build things together. Um, Sohim, did yeah, you want to comment? Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, uh, in terms of Lottie specifically, we, uh, well, we, we barely have just gotten started, so we, we just, open source the, uh, the, the project, and we already have a bunch of feature requests. So we knew this, so uh, we will continue working on that, prioritizing this stuff, and, uh, and building out, making Lottie a lot, a lot richer for, um, in terms of what it can do on Windows. In addition to that, we, um, this was a really pleasant experience for us in terms of taking a lot of the concepts from the Windows UI, API, Windows UI Composition APIs, or the Visual Layer APIs, and, and bringing them to developers in ways that are uh, very easy to use. And so, um, uh, we want to continue doing the uh, using the same model for uh, some of the new 3D investments that we're making in the platform. So we're adding lower level uh, components like materials, meshes, uh, nodes, et cetera, for 3D scene management that can live uh, in parallel uh, and actually intermingling with your 2D XAML scene. 
And so we want to explore uh, the possibility of taking a lot of these things and making it very easy to use by having utilities that, say, parse uh, formats like GLTF or FBX or whatever and uh, easily allow you to build 3D scenes in your Windows apps. And so, of course, we're making contributions uh, inspired by our sort of relative success of Lottie uh, into the toolkit again. And so uh, we look forward to collaborating with you and uh, adding more uh, repos, hopefully. OK. Um, great. So I think, <clears throat> I think it's been a really great exploration we've had here today just talking about you know, what, what technologies um, are, are up and coming and what's new. And it's, I think it's really exciting to hear about all these different controls and components from the platform going into the open source, but also you know, it's not just these little pieces soon. It's going to be like this whole big chunk that everyone can start contributing to and, and improving. Uh, so it's an, I think it's an exciting time for, for everyone here at the Toolkit and in, in Microsoft to, to make a difference. So I really appreciate um, you two spending some time with us. And uh, uh, that's, it's, it's just been great to, great to be here at Build. It's an exciting place. There's a lot of stuff going on. What, just quickly, uh, since we have a few seconds left, what, what's been, like in a sentence, your, your key moment at Build? My key moment in the build was we announced the Summer on version 1 after one year. Wow. Shipping. Shipping, <laughs> Shipping <is important>. yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been the customer interactions we've had. Uh, the, the, it's been very rewarding uh, having people validate the directions we're taking on the platform and just talking to people face to face. Also, uh, having your llama be allowed on stage with us. <laughs> yeah, the llama's, <laughs> llama's great. So uh, thank you at, ho at home for joining us. Uh, Build Live, we'll be right back. And so we really appreciate your time and stay with us here.